Hey everyone, welcome to the video tutorial on chujinghong.com. And in this video, uh, we're going to show you how to purchase your own domain on google.com. As you can see, right now on your screen, we are on the uh, Google domain registration page. And in my article, I've already mentioned that uh, Google is uh, partnering with the two largest uh, domain registrar and that is uh, godaddy.com and enom.com so now the first step to registering your uh, own domain is to come on to this google.com page uh, the URL is uh, given right on top and that would be google.com slash a slash sign up okay uh, you don't have to copy this down because I'm going to uh, make it available to, uh, right underneath this video uh, within my article. Let's uh, hop on and I'll show you how to purchase your domain on Google. The first step is to uh, key in your particulars right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and fill in my own particulars. Okay, so you shouldn't be copying what I'm typing right here because that's my <laughs> particulars, not yours. Okay, so you're gonna put in your real name and your last name and then your working email address for mine it's going to be this one okay you can key in your business or organization name I'm just gonna put nil for me and uh, depending on how large your company is uh, you can choose the appropriate numbers of employees okay and then uh, your country and region I'm in Singapore so if you are in United States or if you are in Australia it's going to show uh, your country but uh, you can actually change the country to your own preference alright choose the one that you are in okay then key in your phone number alright then click on next that should bring you to the second step the second step uh, is to tell Google uh, which domain you would like. Okay, so there are actually two radio buttons here. Use a domain name I have already purchased, or use a complimentary mygbs.com address. But for um, this video tutorial, uh, what we'd like to do is to buy a new domain. So go down to the link at the bottom that says actually I'd like to buy a new domain. Click on that. Okay a sub uh, instruction form or a particular form uh, rather uh, will appear right at the bottom here so now this is where you want to type in the new domain name that you would like to buy okay there are an assortment of different uh, top level domains that you can buy top level domain is uh, essentially .com, .net, .org, etc, etc. So if you like to buy a .com, it's $12, .net is $10, so on and so forth. Okay, so I'm going to stick with uh, .com and uh, before this video tutorial, I have uh, determined my new domain. So I'm going to put it in here. So that's my new domain I would like to buy. Okay, next uh, click on check availability just to make sure that it is available. If it's not, it's going to tell you and you've got to pick another one, okay? So once that's done, key in your local address and uh, once you have finished uh, putting down your address, click next. That will bring you to step three, all right? Now, in step three, they require you to uh, put in your username as well as the uh, corresponding password for your user username. So you can see down here it says uh, at best SEO marketing .com. So whatever you choose here, Google is going to uh, assume that uh, you're going to use uh, that as your uh, as your email as well as your username to log into your account later on. Okay, so I'm going to choose something uh, easy to remember. And next, I'll pick a password. So then, solve the capture here. So if uh, the capture is too difficult, you can press uh, this one to refresh to get another capture. 
All right. So this one here is uh, this. So if you would not like to receive any emails from Google, then leave this unchecked. Okay, but make sure you check the next box. I have read and agree to Google Apps for Business Agreement. Once that's done, click on Accept and Sign Up. Now, we are on the next page right now. It says here, Welcome to Google Apps for Business. The next step is to uh, purchase your new domain. If you stop at this step, uh, it's not considered completed. You have not bought your domain yet. So uh, go on and click on purchase your new domain. Okay, after you have uh, clicked on the purchase a new domain, Google will bring you to this page and this is where you need to sign in using your username. So in my case, that would be support and then key in your password and hit on sign in you'll be taken to um, this page here where it says purchase domain registration so we just have to follow these steps uh, one by one okay I'm gonna walk you through step by step so the first thing here is uh, select your country which is pre-selected for me and uh, it's Singapore since I'm staying in Singapore and the currency here you can actually choose um, euros or USD uh, I'm gonna choose USD because um, it's actually cheaper for me so I'm gonna bring you to a page uh, to do an online calculation uh, from USD to Singapore dollars and euros okay I have done this uh, beforehand as you can see that 10 euros all right actually converts to 16 sing dollars okay Singapore dollars so for United States uh, that would be US dollars okay it's actually 12 US dollars so that's actually 14 dollars 14 Singapore dollars so it's actually cheaper for me to pay in uh, in uh, US dollars than in euro so that's why I'm gonna choose USD you can do this a little exercise uh, on your computer uh, just to determine uh, which is a better exchange rate for you simply type in the amount here on your Google search bar okay for example 12 USD to Australian dollars that will be AUD and just hit enter all right Okay, make sure you go to a new window to do that, okay? So you don't lose this page. Now, once I have determined my currency, okay, that's uh, $12 per domain per year, okay? Uh, the next step is to um, make sure that you check the correct boxes. So automatically renew my registration each year, yes, okay? I do not want to have the hassle of uh, logging in every year and to, to make my payment. So when you have this checked, it will automatically deduct the payment so you don't have to worry about it and, uh, and remember the dates. Um, of the next uh, time you need to log in to make payment okay now this is the one that uh, I've been talking about in my article that uh, that I mentioned about the private who is if you remember and it says right here keep my registration information unlisted do not make it available in the who is directory unless required what this means is that all the personal information is not going to show up publicly on the who is page okay or the who is directory so if you don't mind having your site showing your name then just simply uncheck it for me I'm gonna keep it checked okay and it's free uh, every year you just need to pay the $12 uh, dollars, um, yearly subscription fee okay so registration is powered by like I said that uh, Google it has partner with uh, enorm and GoDaddy so you can choose either one okay it really doesn't matter because both of them are really quite uh, popular and reputable but I'm just gonna go with Go GoDaddy in this case okay so then check uh, this button alright and it says here I have read the Go Daddy Universal Terms and Services. You can click on this link and make sure you read through all the terms and services. Then finally, click on Continue. 
Okay, so in step two, it is going to review your purchase. Everything looks correct. So next, you're going to click on accept and continue. So once you are in this page, you can see that uh, Google is ask, asking you to confirm your business information and your primary billing contact. Okay, so this uh, just make sure that uh, you have keyed everything correctly. If you're happy with the results, click on continue. Next, you can choose what you want to pay with currently. Um, the only method I can pay with is with credit cards. Okay, you can see that uh, they accept uh, most major credit cards. So I'm going to key in my credit card details right here. All right. Okay, and once uh, you have keyed in all your particulars, uh, go on down to click on submit and activate my account. Okay, when you click on the button, uh, Google is going to take some time to load to the next page. So. Uh, do not click on back or any other buttons uh, during that time. Uh, just wait patiently until it shows you this page that you're seeing right now in front of you. What you see down here is that Google is telling you that uh, it's in the process of um, of uh, processing your payment information. All right. So once that is done, you can actually start to access all your uh, domain information. But right now, uh, we can't. So. Uh, all you have to do is to uh, keep this page, all right? Or you can log out and then uh, go for a coffee or something. And then in about uh, two hours' time, we'll come back and take a look at the website, all right? Hey, welcome back. So now we are right back at the login screen. In most cases, you will likely be logged out and you need to come back to your uh, login page. Now, the login page is really, okay, I'm going to show you here. It's uh, going to be www.google.com slash A slash C panel slash, all right, your domain name, okay? So key that into your web browser. And that should bring you back to the correct login page. Now, you're going to key in your username here, and then the password. Okay, and then hit on sign in. Oops. Okay, once you have done that, uh, it will bring you back to the dashboard. As you can see, the uh, pending status no longer appears. And uh, right now, you have full access to your domain. Okay, so uh, that's the end of our tutorial. And uh, in the next tutorial, lesson number three, I'm going to show you how to set up a web host and subsequently link your domain uh, to your web host. Okay, so uh, that will be all for now. So hope you learned something. I'll talk to you soon. Bye for now.